Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these given simultaneous product equations by substitution method. Let's get started now. Let's look at the very first equation xy equal to 72. I want to isolate y. That means I want to solve for y. Let's divide both sides by x. So that is going to give us, so x and x is gone. So that is going to give us y equal to 72 over x. I am going to call this as an equation number one. Let's look at the second equation now. I am going to isolate this y plus two part. So I'm going to divide both sides by x minus five and x minus 5 on this side as well and you can see over here these two, two cancels out so we simply got simply y plus 2 equals to 56 divided by x minus 5. I am going to call this as an equation number Two. And now in the next step, I am going to substitute y equal to 72 over x in equation 1 into this equation number 2 right up here. So wherever you see y, I'm going to replace it by 72 over x. So let's see what happens. So y plus 2 is going to simply become 72 over x plus 2 equal to 56 divided by x minus 5. You see this y becomes 72 over x. So now as you can see we got a rational equation isn't it? So over here in this rational equation we want to remove these fractions. And if we focus on the denominators x and x minus 5, our least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple, turns out to be x times x minus 5. Let me go ahead and multiply by this thing each and every term. I'm going to multiply by x times x minus 5 in the very first term. I'm going to do across the board x times x minus 5 and x times x minus 5. So now as you can see over here this x and x is gone so we simply got 72 times x minus 5. So far so good. Likewise plus 2 times this whole thing plus 2 times x times x minus 5 and right up here this x minus 5 cancel with this x minus 5 so we ended up with equal to 56 x so we no longer have a fraction let's go ahead and distribute these 72 times this one that's going to become 72x minus 72 times 5 is minus 360 likewise we're going to distribute over here as well that's going to become 2x square minus 10x equal to 56x now I am going to move this 56x on the left hand side. So we're going to have 72x minus 360 plus 2x square minus 10x. When we move this 56x on the left hand side become 56 with a negative sign equal to 0. Let's simplify this thing. Once we simplify we are going to get 2x square plus 6x minus 360 equal to 0. 
once we combine these like terms over here and as you can see that this these all these terms are divisible by 2 let me go ahead and divide across the board by 2 you can see that one so we simply got uh, this becomes simply x square plus 3x minus 180 equal to 0. Now we got a quadratic equation that could be easily factored out. The possible factors are really simple one, 15 and 12. So I'm going to say x minus 12 and then x plus 15 and since we are running out of space i am going to move over here uh, these two factors since they are equal to zero i can separate them i can split them up i'm going to say x minus 12 equal to zero any other side i'm going to say x plus 15 equal to zero so that is going to give us x equal to positive 12 and here is going to give us x equal to negative 15 so far so good and now from equation number one we know that y equal to 72 over x here we can easily find the value of y by just substituting x equal to 12 over here let's do that one so y equal to 72 divided by x is 12 so that means y equal to simply 6 so far so good and now we're going to repeat the process for the another value of x, which is negative 15. So we know y equal to 72 over x. So simply y equal to 72 divided by x is negative 15. And if we reduce this one, we divide both sides by 3, we are going to get negative 24 over 5 as y value so over here so we're going to have a one order pair which is going to be over here 12 comma 6 that means this is our x value and this is our y value likewise over here our ordered pair is going to be negative 15 comma negative 24 over 5 and once again this is our x value and this is our y value and hence these are our final answer to our this given simultaneous product equations thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye